Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We got our first walleye right there, Enzo. There we In the net. Wow, Beauty. There we go. <laughs> We're out here at Lake Erie. We're come out for the evening bite, eh, Enzo? Yeah. And uh, got a flat tire on the way up here. So we lost some time. We only got about another hour before the sun goes down. And today, today what we're doing, we're just flatline trolling with the American Smelt crankbait. There we go. There's a good start to our day. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, Enzo, right Gorgeous. there. Isn't that nice, eh? <laughs> that is Lake Erie walleye right there, right? That one hook in there. Okay, let's get him in the box. I felt that nice, nice hit. Okay. So, put some water in the live well. We're gonna keep trolling here, Enzo. So, right now, all we're doing, folks, I've got American Smelt crankbait on there. I'm running the silver because it's really sunny right now. It's evening bite, like I say, we got about another hour before the sun goes down. And all I've got is a single snap on that uh, American Smelt crankbait. These will dive 20 feet. No problem, 20 feet. So I'm running the silver. Enzo, you're just re-rigging. You're running the silver purple? The purple, yeah. The purple, okay. And all we're doing, so I'm letting let my line out. I'm letting out about 130 feet of line. That's gonna get me down there no problem at 20 feet deep. And like I say, all we're doing is flat line trolling. And the area I'm fishing, this is normally a bass area for me. I'm fishing between 20 and 30 feet of water here on the uh, on the eastern basin of Lake Erie. So there's about 120 right there. And there we go. Okay, and the technique is really simple. This is it. Down it goes. Have a seat. I'm trolling at about 2.3, 2.2 miles an hour. And I'm keeping my rod tip down so that that crankbait, the American Smoke crankbait, will dive down deep to 20 feet. So if I put my rod up like this, it's not going to dive to its maximum depth. So keep my rod tip down, and so you're getting in. A nice slow troll. We got a beautiful chop on the water today, folks. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's an east wind, and they you know what they say, and so east is least and west is best. Well, not today. But not today. We're off to a good start. And uh, maybe that flat tire, I got the flat tire on my trailer, actually, my boat trailer. Always good to have a spare. I was happy I had mine with me today, but we lost a good half hour, 45 minutes of prime fish time. But that's okay, we're making up for it right now. So glad you can join me, folks. Stay tuned. Oh, Jeff. There we go, folks. We're in another one. Enzo was getting hits on that purple, so I took the silver off. I said, let me run the purple. It wasn't in there five minutes. Whammo. How's it feel? Actually, I'm not sure if it's a bass or a walleye. Oh, wow. But he didn't jump, so I don't think it's a bass. It's the month of August. Normally, I'd be fishing. It is a bass. It's a bass. Okay, it's just a smallie. Okay. Normally for walleye, this time of year, oh, by the way, see where he's hit? They're hitting the head first. That's why he's caught on that first hook there. Let's see if I can get him released quickly. Okay, Mr. Smalley, lip lock you. There you go. Yeah, it's the month of August, and I said we're fishing in 20 to 30 feet of water. Normally, I'd be trolling in 50, 55, 60 feet of water this time of year or even more. But what we're doing today, because it's the evening bite, the walleye are moving in from the deeper water into these shallows to feed. So that's why we're running these American smelts. They dive 20, 22 feet sometimes. And uh, we're working this shallow water for those real active walleye. Otherwise, I'd be out in the lake, like I say, you know, in 50, 60, 70 feet of water. Now, having said that, if, if I wanted to, I could run these American smelts as well with my downriggers, just keeping in mind they run 20 feet. So if I want to fish 30 feet down, 
put my downrigger down 10 feet and uh, and start trolling so very versatile lure but right now flat line is where it's at and that was a decent smallie yeah anything's, anything's good really. you know it <laughs> you know it yeah okay let's see if we get another walleye <laughs> just as the sun i just said there goes the sun the sun is just setting right now and i had another hit and i think it's a smallie i don't think it's a walleye it hit like a bass did i lose him no, no, he's just swimming towards the boat. No, he's just swimming towards the boat. I think it's a smallie. But the thing with these American smelts, they're so realistic looking, eh, Enzo? It's the shape that looks just like a smelt, and these fish are feeding on game fish and bait fish. I think it's just a small bass. Those small bass are not afraid to hit this big lure, is it? Look at that. Whoa. There we go. There we go. <laughs> they are not afraid to hit that big lure. Look at that. That's the thing now. We're out here. We want walleye, but you got to weed through the bass to get the walleye. That's a nice fish. That's a beautiful fish, and it's the month of August. The sun is going down. It's been a great evening out here. I uh, missed one earlier. You had a few more yeah, bumps. Had a couple bumps, yeah. Oh, nice little bass. But you know what, folks? We're out here. It's 77 degrees of water. I mean, we got euchred a little bit with the flat tire. Right. <laughs> so we had limited time out here, but you know what? It would have been great out here without any fish because it was it's just a phenomenal evening. It was a hot summer day. We got a nice cool breeze off here. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. If you get an opportunity, folks, just get out there. Enjoy some of our great outdoors. We've had a great evening. The sun is just peeking down over those things, over the treetops there, but I think we're going to give it another five, maybe ten minutes, and then we're going to call it. So thanks very much, folks, for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. It's always great to see you. Hope you're able to get out on the water. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. All right, Enzo, let's go. Okay.